Hey guys, even here, and just as you saw in the thumbnail of this video, Justin Rodriguez is gonna be the topic, the first topic in this video. I'll try and be brief with this one because there isn't really much to talk about, this most muscular shot of his that he posted. So what you can see right here is that he is getting ready, like he is getting more shredded every time he posts an update. Uh, how much do I like this most muscular? Not very. I mean the triceps are looking really tiny, like almost non-existent basically. And in order to have great most muscular, you need to have great arms, and that includes having big triceps as well. So based on all I've seen from Justin at this point, yeah, I'm guessing he's gonna be top 3 or something like that. But to win a show, from what I've seen so far, from what I've seen from uh, Nick Walker, Hassan Mustafa and the others, yeah, I just don't see it. I don't know, I mean, we need to see him on stage compared to the others, because he's a really big guy, he's, he's really wide through the shoulders, and that's gonna, for example, that's gonna uh, give trouble to Hassan, who's very narrow through the shoulders. But uh, maybe that's also the reason why his arms are looking smaller, because he's really wide. But again, you need to see them on the stage. But, you know, usually when you see these bodybuilders on Instagram and the photos they post, you can get a solid idea how they're gonna look on stage. And from what I've seen so far, I mean, it's not super high quality photo, but you basically can get an idea that, uh, yeah, he doesn't really look super, super crazy freaky impressive. Maybe, maybe it's gonna be like the thing that, that, that comes with conditioning, like maybe he's a late bloomer, he, he, he looks the best at the very end of the prep, like when he's peeled. Which I think was usually the case, but it's gonna be enough to beat monsters like Nick Walker or Hassan Mustafa. I don't know, I don't know, at this point I wouldn't bet on him. At this point, no. What do you guys think? And as far as Hassan, there is a back lat spread photo of him, and so far Hassan didn't really show his body without a t-shirt. And this is basically as close as it gets, so he's uh, hitting it with a t-shirt on, but you can still get the idea, I mean, you can see the majority of the back. You can see that he is very muscular, at this point he has so much muscle, he has density, he has the conditioning, he has the size, he's taking this photo in the gym, uh, in, in, uh, in, uh, in Flex Lewis's Dragon's Lair gym, where he's training right now, where he's prepping for uh, this uh, New York Pro 2021, where he very well might win and uh, take the title home because he's the top runner, basically. I mean, based on previous performance, it's kind of between him and Justin, but I think Hassan has the edge. Again, based on previous performance. But based on the recent photos, uh, Nick looks really good. I mean, he looks really good at this point. And this is him just uh, doing some treadmill and you can get the idea of the size of this freak. Guys, guys. He's gonna be like 255, 258 as he claims. That's over 10 pounds heavier than the last time we saw him on stage. And the last time we saw him on stage, he was huge. So you can get an idea. This guy is gonna be a freak. Like right now, he looks the best. He does look the best. I don't know who's gonna look best on the stage, but as for now, he seems the most impressive. I don't know. This is him just walking here. I mean, just just, just Nick Walker walking, right? doing some treadmill, and uh, he looks insanely large. I mean, he's dieting, he doesn't look depleted at all. And he is conditioned, I saw the photos, I saw the updates, you saw it as well, I mean, if you follow my channel. So he's getting conditioned, and he still is keeping a lot of size. Like, he's gonna be huge on that stage, and he also might very well win the, win the show. So I think it's gonna be between these three guys. And right now, based on all I've seen so far, I think Hassan... Uh, and and Nick have the best chances, but I'm not sure who I would bet on. Maybe Nick at this point. What do you guys think? Well, if you talk about the off season and the and the improvements and the gained size, I think you can mention Hunter Labrada, who just updated uh, his most recent physique. So yeah, right here you can see his back grew. His back definitely grew. Like he didn't look this good. No, the lower lats didn't look this good. So he gained muscle for sure. Back double bicep though isn't as impressive as the back lat spread because of the high inserted lats. It's also a thing of posing, I mean he, he's uh, leaning backwards too much for this lighting of course on stage, I'm sure it's gonna look great. And you can see you can see the traps and everything, like he gained a lot of thickness upstairs. Uh, the, lower, the lower back not exactly great, but he is doing a lot of heavy deadlifts and stuff, so he will gain that thickness, the density through the back, through the upper back. Lower lads could, could do some more work, but still an impressive back for sure. 
I think he's way more impressive from the front though and I think he's gonna be a top threat to this Chicago Pro 2021 but then again is he gonna win it I mean he probably will but there are some heavy hitters as well there might be for example Charles Griffin so yeah since my last video he did update us with what his plans are he's doing Tampa Pro Texas and he might jump in Chicago Pro and at this point this guy looks phenomenal he looks insanely large insanely massive I mean look at his back look at the size of his back like is this normal I mean look at those lads how much they're popping this is like one of the freakiest backs ever like it's so freaky just not normal not normal and those arms really grow so much look at the back like look at the lats look at the width of this back <laughs> what the hell <laughs> what the hell i mean what are those muscles where what what is going on with those lats i don't know i don't know it's freaky it's just just not not normal he doesn't look human basically i don't know how much will it translate on stage i don't know i don't think he's gonna be like good enough to beat hunter no i think hunter is gonna be uh, victorious because he has less flaws uh, Charles Griffin, he's a great bodybuilder for sure, very very impressive back, very thick back, overall he's a short guy, so he has a lot of muscle, a lot of density, but pretty poor legs, not a great structure, so he has a lot of flaws, I mean not a lot, but quite a few, un unlike Hunter, Hunter doesn't have many of them, so for that reason, as freaky as he is, I don't think he's gonna be able to beat Hunter, and as far as Tampa, I'm, I'm not sure, but if Ian Valieri is doing it, yeah, it's not gonna be easy for, for him to win it, but I think Ian is doing Toronto, and I don't know about who else is doing the Tampa and Texas, but sure, I can see him win a show this year, it just depends on who else shows up, but is he a top 10 in the world? I don't know, probably not, and if he does Chicago Pro, he's gonna face Sergio Oliva as well, who posted this bicep training video, based on which you can get the idea of what his body fat percent is right now and he does start to look grainy so he's getting ready and overall he looks decent he looks pretty big i mean he was top five at a very competitive arnold classic but compared i mean to hunter who was eighth the mr olympia i mean he was uh, probably as competitive or probably even more competitive than arnold classic uh, i don't i don't see him beating hunter honestly i think hunter is a better bodybuilder at this point he looks bigger he looks thicker uh, Sergio, on the other hand, I don't know, he doesn't look that thick, that massive compared to Hunter. We need to see them on stage, it's gonna be close, it's gonna be a good battle, I mean, it's very interesting, like, both of their fathers are top-tier bodybuilders, legends of bodybuilding, so it's definitely gonna be fun, but at this point, from what I can see, I will bet on Hunter. Whatever you guys think, tell me down below, but here is an update of a classic physique, top classic physique competitor, Steve Lorius, uh, who is in his off-season, he started uh, really pushing it, uh, as, as his coach Neil Hill claims and uh, yeah he looks huge right now so this kind of shows me that uh, these classic physique guys are really close to open bodybuilding right so if they really push things one or two seasons too heavy heavy off seasons if they really pushed it to the max they could be in the open so I mean take a look at Steve right here he's massive he's very close to an open bodybuilder also he has very small joints so when he stands alone, he appears bigger than he is actually on the stage when he when he dies down as well. So he's not as big as he seems when he stands alone. I mean, standing next to the other really big guys with a little bigger joints than he is, uh, it would show. But still, he's a big guy. He's a big guy, and he is in the off season. He's prepping really hard I and mean, prepping for uh, for next show, which is gonna happen. Who knows when? I don't think he announced anything, and he doesn't look to be getting close to any kind of show but he is working on improvements he's preparing his next package and it's gonna be improved one for sure so i can't wait to see him uh, fulfill his full potential eventually whenever that happens let me digress a little and show you what is going on in the life of dennis wolf so here is him uh, he went to dragon slayer gym and he also did that podcast at Fuad. so he's kind of in in industry a little bit and now there is a video of himself doing some one-arm push-ups. So I don't think he was able to do this back when he was, uh, I don't know, 300 or 300 pounds for sure, because he's a taller guy. So he definitely does look and definitely is more, more athletic at this point. And I'm sure that neck or spine surgery went well, because now he's able to do one-arm push-ups. <laughs> so Dennis Wolf seems to be in great shape right now in 2021.
Okay, now somebody who might be forced to retire now. Forced retirements, those are the worst. When a bodybuilder is at his peak and he has an injury like this, that's horrible. But look at Ryan Crowley right now after the surgery. He got leaner. He probably didn't eat a lot and he got really lean. So now he's doing some shoulders in this video. I mean, a shoulder because the other arm, he cannot really use it. Uh, he needs to wait for it to heal, but he's doing some work for his... Uh, left arm which is great i mean there are some studies that show that if you train one side the other side it will also probably not grow but uh, maintain more muscle because the body will try to, uh, to to have a balance muscularity wise so he's training what he can train he probably does train legs and his left side uh, so it's really unfortunate what happened to this guy i mean he's really young and he was a big prospect in bodybuilding but uh, these things happen unfortunately especially if you're not very careful and doing five plates on an incline for one rep one rep max maxing it out in the gym th that's not a smart thing to do and everybody knows that he knew that he erased it and uh, it wasn't worth it apparently but right now after after having a surgery he does actually look surprisingly good i mean look at the arms and the conditioning he got leaner probably he, does, he didn't eat a lot and uh, that's why obviously the arms are looking good. I mean, he was bigger before, but he was also kind of chubby. So now he got leaner. Unfortunately, the right arm doesn't look good. Of course, he's losing a lot of muscle uh, on that side. But look at him. I mean, he's taking photos. He's having photo shoots still uh, like this. So good for him. I mean, he's probably very optimistic. He didn't uh, give up. He, I mean, he's still training. He's being active. He's doing all he can do. And uh, after that video, he kind of became popular. So he better take that advantage as much as he can and hopefully the surgery went really well so he can actually be uh, so he can actually look like this once again and uh, it didn't really hurt his his aesthetics maybe it actually didn't hurt his symmetry too much so we'll see what happens when he completely heals and he shows his uh, physique at that point and for the end we have an update of morgan aced or morgan st i'm not sure how you pronounce his name if you guys know let me know down below but this is him right now in the side tricep and this right here is basically why he didn't take the shirt off in that Larry Wills video. It's the stomach. I mean, he was wearing a tank top. He showed us his back, basically his arms, shoulders, quite a bit of his chest. But he didn't show us uh, his stomach, his midsection. That doesn't look very good. It's very, very, very bloated. So I don't know if he can actually control it on the stage. I think not. And overall, the structure of this guy, I and mean, yeah, he's a monster when he stands next to the other guys, but alone you can see that he doesn't really have the best genetics for, for bodybuilding. I mean, he has good genetics, he, he's a pro, right? But it's mainly because of the size, because of the muscularity that he has. As far as the genetics, uh, in terms of proportions, symmetry, muscle shape, balance overall, he doesn't really have it. I don't think I can see him winning a pro show. I don't think he can be a top threat at the New York Pro. But it's going to be definitely a fun addition. People want to see him because he's a freak, he's a monster, he's really big. So we want to see him because of that freak factor, but as far as uh, his potential, as far as placing, not very great. I don't think he can actually win a show or be in a top 3, 4, I don't think so. Probably like in top 7 or 8. But we'll see soon enough, in a few weeks. Anyways guys, that's gonna do it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please like it. If you want to see more, tell me about it and subscribe to this channel. All the best guys and bye bye.